Let's play out more reactions coming in from experts. Here's another reaction from a former ISRO scientist. This uh, fi final thing is softly and securely landing on the moon. For that, lander has to separate from uh, the uh, propulsion module. So as of now, all the modules of propulsion system has made its functionalities. And uh, it has done its job. Now Vikram has to take its own course of action. For that, it has to separate. So even after, after separating, then the major event comes. The major event is uh, uh, four uh, 800 Newton thrusters. They have to fire to take it to the lower orbit. They, that also will be done in uh, two steps and uh, ensuring that all the three systems are working properly. These two steps will go down, put 100 kilometer orbit, then from 100 go to the uh, 30 kilometer orbit, 100 by 30 kilometer orbit. That's a very, very vital. But when it's going very closer, closer to the earth, so the position of the module has to be ascertained properly. So then uh, from the 30 kilometer onwards, how to move, how to thruster to fire, what would... Well, let's quickly go across to Mr. K. Sivan, former ISRO chief, joining us on the phone line. Uh, many thanks for speaking to us, Mr. Sivan. Uh, you know, on multiple occasions, you've spoken of how you're very, very anxious about the entire mission, the Chandrayaan-3 mission, but you're extremely hopeful. With this latest development of successful separation of the lander module and the propulsion module, how do you see this going, sir? Hello? All right, not quite sure if he's still... Through. Let me quickly go across to uh, Minister Jitendra Singh also joining us on the phone line. Uh, sir, what do you make of you know this feat that uh, Chandrayaan-3 so far has achieved all eyes really on 23rd August next though? It's not only an achievement for India. Of course, India has been the spearheader in this mission. But the entire world is feeling elated because this is something which they had never been able to achieve. It's, of course, the medium of achievement is India, India's mission, Chandrayaan. And I think we... I'm sure I'll be speaking for the entire space uh, scientist fraternity when I say that it's been possible because it was Prime Minister Modi who provided us with an enabling milieu, enabling environment. You would wear me out when I say that till about three, four years back, nobody could have even imagined. Even on the, on the day of uh, the launching of Chandrayaan 3, we had as many as 1,000 media persons inside the premises of Sri Hari Kota. The same Sri Hari Kota launching station where the gates were never. I were open even uh, for the media persons to peep it. So within three years or four years, this has been a quantum jump because India always had the capability. We always had the potential. Our mm. scientists were world class. We had scientists like Sara Bhai who could carry uh, launchers on the carrier of bicycle. So much was the commitment. But we didn't have the resources. So Prime Minister Modi has given us an atmosphere where we could give full vent to our potential. Mm. And you can see the results have happened overnight because the entire team ISRO has worked so passionately day and night. And and remember, in ISRO, there's a different kind of work culture altogether. Nobody super innovates, nobody retires. The former scientists, the present scientists, they keep working all their life uh, as, as a mission, like a family. And so much so that even at the time of every launching and every successful landing, there is a visit paid to Tirupati and a laddu distributed amongst themselves. So, hmm. so much of passion was there, so much of potential was there, but maybe we didn't have the resources. When they were made available, I think India has proved to the world what kind of wonders we can perform. Hmm. Uh, well, Mr. Singh, like you said, you know, like the Prime Minister and you yourself have been very personally invested in the Chandrayaan-3 mission as you were in the Chandrayaan-2 mission as well. But with, uh, you know, the Vikram continuing its solo journey on the moon, there's, uh, there's an aim laid out for the propulsion module as well. It's going to be continuing its journey in the current orbit for months or years. So there are lots that's lined up really for the scientist community in our country to achieve from this particular mission. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, as you rightly said, and to add to what you are saying, our uh, scientific uh, sources would become together from Chandrayaan-3 are going to be made available even to the most premier agencies of the world, including NASA, which is the oldest possible uh, among the agencies mm -hmm. of the USA. And that itself is, is a success story uh, in the sense that we started off our space, space journey when uh, in somewhere in early 1960s when the, so the then Soviet Union and the USA were preparing to land on the surface of the moon and the USA did do that in 1969 in the form of Neil Armstrong. And we were still singing nursery rhymes, Chanda Mama Durke. But at the same time, we had the potential, as I said. Mm. We didn't have the right kind of go-ahead kind of a push 
which was provided to us in 19, uh, 20, uh, 2019 and 2020 after this uh, new space approach, a new policy uh, by the Modi government. And so what we procure, as you rightly said, is not going to be exciting for us. It's going to be a hugely, hugely beneficial even for Americans Soviet Union because they are accordingly going to plan their future missions. The, the exciting experiments about the possibility of human habitat uh, being feasible or not in, in moon, whether the moon atmosphere is compatible with human life or not. These questions which have for centuries, you know, mm. been... Uh, uh, have been exciting the human mind we may find some answers if not only at least to a large extent through these mm. uh, inputs that we are going to gather from Chandrayaan 3 and this is something which is going to keep the entire world community of the space uh, researchers excited for a long time to come absolutely and like and like you said the lots of learning uh, that one is perhaps going to take away as far as this entire mission is concerned the uh, union minister singh thank you for speaking to us let me also once again go across to mr sivan who's back with us on the phone line uh, so i was meaning to ask you about how on multiple occasions in the recent past you've spoken of how you're very very anxious about the chandrayaan 3 mission but also at the same time very hopeful uh, after this big development coming in this massive breakthrough of a uh, successful separation of the lander module from the propulsion module how do you see the entire uh, mission so far uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, event is very much essential required for the successful operation of the uh, uh, landing. Uh, so this uh, this particular event, it, it, the, the lunar model has to model has to separate from that uh, uh, model is essential, and uh, which happened, uh, I mean, very nicely. Mm. So this will give way for further operations on the lunar module to okay. ensure a successful landing. Mm. This one. Okay, and, and in your view, Mr. Sivan, since you were, uh, you know, well aware of what happened in Chandrayaan through to what went wrong, how similar or different has the journey so far for Chandrayaan three been? Now, uh, this uh, the challenges point that we both Chandrayaan two and Chandrayaan three they're same. There's mm -hmm. not a different this one. But the only thing is based on the lessons what we learned from Chandrayaan two, some uh, the corrections have been uh, incorporated, and also mm -hmm. this uh, wherever the margins are less extra margins have been provided and also that the redundancy is wherever required when I mean, the possible is redundancy is put it hmm. so the, the whole system is got ruggedized and so we are expecting that this mission is supposed to be I mean, expected to be successful absolutely and you have emphasized on that on multiple occasions in the past how chandrayaan 2 has indeed been a learning experience and is only going to add to what we achieve in chandrayaan 3 mr sivan many thanks for joining us uh, all the very best let's quickly head into a very short break with that we'll be right back